Hi and welcome to North East Live, I'm Katie Andrews, coming up in the programme. This week the North East will be making political history as the North of Tyne will see its first elected mayor. It's always good to have a figurehead, um, somebody who's very supportive of the region. It's been all draws and no wins for two North East football teams over the weekend. We will have the latest sports news and fixtures for the Black Cats and the Magpies. And a century-old lifeboat is ready to take back to the seas in Tynemouth after an extensive restoration project. That's all still to come now though, it's time for your 60 second news update. And first, a speed camera installed on a major Newcastle road made more than £600,000 in fines in just one year. The camera on Pontillion Road was put in place to crack down on motorists going faster than 30 miles per hour. Since it came into operation, the camera has caught over 6,000 motorists on the road route between Atal Lane Roundabout and Springfield Roundabout. Next, a man has been arrested after a Tyne and Weir Fire and Rescue Station was broken into. Thieves made their way into West Denton Station on Friday and it's understood a number of items were stolen. The man arrested on suspicion of burglary has since been released under investigation. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Northumbria Police. And over the weekend, crowds gathered for the unveiling of a new statue celebrating the mining heritage of Headingley Hall. The sculpture, which is called Da Said Men Don't Cry, features a pitman preparing to send his son down the pit for the first time in the 1840s. It was created by Ray Lonsdale, the artist behind See Him's Tommy Sat statue. And with that, that was your 60 Second News update. It's time now for North East Live from around the region. <laughs>